Okay. Now for some stuff that otherwise would be really dry, except I'm going to do some dancing. Concentrations. Concentration is the amount of stuff in a volume. Okay, so we think about moles per volume, moles per liter. Okay, or because we have solutes and solvents, it's the amount of stuff in a solvent. Okay, so there are different ways we can put this out. One you know forever is molarity. And molarity is the number of moles of solute in a liter of solution. Is a liter the SI unit for volume? Yes or no? No, it is not. Meters cubed is the SI. So moles per liter is not an SI unit. It's a common chemistry unit, but it's not SI. If something dissociates, we have to worry about stoichiometry because if calcium chloride dissolves in water, we have for one mole of calcium chloride, one mole of calcium, two moles of chloride. Something which is not a typo. <laughs> Molality is different from molarity and not in a typographical way. Molality is the number of moles of solute in one kilogram of solvent, not in the final solution. We can also do ratios. Okay, so we can do percent or parts per million or parts per thousand. So if we say grams of solute per 100 grams of solvent, we're doing a ratio. There are many ways we can do this. Parts per is a generic way of expressing this. Percent, we all know about percents. Two things to think about, mass percent and percent mass per volume. Water is special <laughs> because its density means that one kilogram of water and one liter of water are the same, close enough. So water is a very special thing. Volume percent, just as we say, volume of A over total volume. Parts per million, same thing, except instead of percent, which is parts per hundred, we're talking parts per million. So one part of solute in a million parts of solution. Mole fraction. This is very important, but you've seen it before in Dalton's law. Mole fraction, number of moles of solute divided by total number of moles is the mole fraction of solute. <laughs> that was strange. Okay, so sample calculations. How do we do it? <laughs> Don't expect that every day. <laughs> so question, what volume in milliliters of a soft drink which is 10.5% sucrose contains this amount of sucrose. <laughs> that is really slow clapping, guys.
So what is the real life problem here? The real life problem is your sister. <laughs> your sister says, I can only eat 100 grams of sugar a day. So she has to worry about how much sugar is in her soft drink. So, because you're a really good sibling, you're going to figure it out for her. 